In this video, we will see how to encode the given bit pattern using differential Manchester encoding. Okay. The, in the last video, we saw Manchester encoding. Here, we'll see differential Manchester encoding. So, let's see how this is done. The rule that we need to keep in mind is 1 represents no inversion and 0 represents inversion. And also, the signal for 1 as well as 0, the signal will change during the middle of the bit. Now, here I find a 1. So, 1 represents no inversion. Let's say I'm starting from the positive part of my time axis. This is the positive part of the time axis and this is the negative part of the time axis. Positive part, negative part. I'm starting from the positive part. Now, in the positive part, what I'll do is I'll move. Right, see, 1 represents no inversion. So, if I am here at the positive part, I'll remain at the positive part. I don't need to go to the negative part because 1 represents no inversion. Here, inversion means in terms of levels. So, if you're above the time axis, you'll go below the time axis. If you're below the time axis, you'll go above the time axis. If your bit is 0, because 0 represents inversion. But if it's a 1, then it represents no inversion. That means, if I'm above the time axis, I'll remain above the time axis. So, here I have a 1. So, I stay. And then what happens is, there is a change during the middle of the bit. So, I change during the middle of the bit. And here I am. Now, 0 represents inversion. So, if I'm below the time axis, I need to go up. So, I'll go up. Now, after going up, I'll proceed. There's a change during the middle of the bit. I'll do that. Here I am. 1 represents no inversion. So, if I'm below the time axis, I'll remain below the time axis. Now, I'm in the middle of the bit. So, I'll go back up and I'll proceed. Now, again, 1 represents no inversion. So, if I'm above the time axis, I'll remain above the time axis and proceed. I'm at the middle of the bit now. I'll change. And here I am now. Now, if I have a 0, now see, 0 represents inversion. So, if I'm below the time axis, I need to go back up. So, I need to go back up because it represents a 0. Now, I'll proceed. I'm at the middle of the bit. Signal will change during the middle of the bit. And now I find a 1. 1 represents no inversion. So if I'm below the time axis, I'll remain below the time axis. I'm in the middle of the bit. A signal will change. The signal will change during the middle of the bit. And I'll proceed. 0 represents inversion. I am above the time axis. So I'll go down because my signal is inverting. And I'll stay here. And again, the signal will change during the middle of the bit. Now here I am. Again, there is a 0. 0 represents inversion. So, if I'm above the time axis, I'll go down and here I am at the middle of the bit. So, I need to change the signal during the middle of the bit and I need to end it off. So, this is how you would encode your given bit pattern using differential Manchester technique. I hope this helps. Thank you.